Hi, this is Rick Eimer with the Palo Alto Weekly, and we're here with Tatiana Reese from Priory. She's a junior here. Uh, she's our Athlete of the Week this week for helping her team get to the NorCal Regional Finals, which will be held this weekend, of course, uh, if you're watching this at a future date. It, it's sometime in March. Um, anyway, if we could just maybe begin by talking about your NorCals and uh, you know how, how they've gone so far. So for our team, it's been pretty well. Like. I'm having a really, I've been really excited. I'm really happy to be where we are, one game away from state if we win Saturday, and just being able to make it to NorCal. I came here freshman year, we struggled. We only won two games. Last year we did a lot better. We got first place in our league, and we're able to move up a league, and that's great to play against teams like Pinewood and Eastside and just play against girls who are wanting to go to college for basketball, and I think that it has helped our team, challenged us, and we also had a tough preseason this year. We played Sacred Heart Cathedral. We played Brea from LA, really good team. And those they beat us, but we still fought hard against them. And I think that it has prepared us for Division Five NorCals this year, just playing against better teams preseason, just bouncing back and playing with our full potential. Right. One of the things I saw the Sacred Heart games, uh, Sacred Heart Cathedral game, and, you know, you, d you give yourself a little bit of credit. That first quarter was pretty awesome. And you know, it's just that they had more, a little more depth, and they had the one girl that could shoot from outside. It looked like, but uh, so you know, we were talking about you know when you move up a league and play against the Pine Woods and the in the um, East Sides. Now you know, I just looked this up. Pinewood is the number one team in state in Division Five. East Side is the number two team in state, mm -hmm. and Priory is the number three team in state. So you're talking about the three teams in your own league that you have to play twice every time. And uh, that, I mean, that's, that's gotta be fairly remarkable to know you're not gonna play anybody better. Yeah, I love playing against Pinewood. I love playing against Eastside. They're both really good teams, really good players, shooters, rebounders, hustlers. Like, it's fun to play against, challenge myself. The only time, before I came to play, the only time I was challenged was during AAU season. I played for Coach Buck, but it was elite. Those are the only times I was getting challenged. So to move up a league and just play against like, you have Bree from Pinewood. You have Kayla, two really good guards from these schools that work their butts off and play hard. It just feels good to play against competition and not have to play against players who play for fun, but rather players who are working to get a scholarship. Right, and the fact is that you're playing, you know, that helps you develop your own game. You feel like you've improved a lot since, say, freshman year even. I feel like I have definitely. Freshman year, I feel like I was a, just a primary scorer, um, a little bit of a passer, but I think... This year, this has been a big year, big year for me for assist. I've been really passing the ball to my teammates, getting everyone involved because I feed off my teammates' energy. That brings me up, and that's what I try to tell them. Like, I want to get everyone involved, and that's just my goal every game. Like, do my part, do my job, what my coaches expect from me, but also get my teammates involved because it's not a one-person game, it's a team game. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, the last game I think you had like eight points, eight rebounds, seven steals, seven assists, things like that. I mean, you're you're pretty close to maybe a quadruple double at one time. I mean, not that you're, you're playing for it, but it just seems that you do a lot of everything, which is, I guess, important for, for a player of your position. Yeah, my coach always tells me, like, you lead this team, um, they'll go how far you'll go. Like, you play bad, then you're, you're going to give your team bad energy. So every game especially during playoffs, I'm like, we're going to win this game, work hard. I've been making our warm-ups more temp like more up, like just to be loud and stuff. And I think it's great like to know that I'm a leader and my teammates look up to me and feed off energy. But a lot of times I feed off off of them, but I think it's great to have an opportunity. With We're such a young team, and I'm just excited to lead them. Yeah, now growing up, of course, you didn't have, uh, you know, same age siblings. But you had a father, I guess, and an uncle that, that played ball a little bit, and maybe that helped you as, as you grew up? Yeah, definitely. My dad and my uncle played basketball growing up. All their friends, I called them my uncles and my cousins. Um, they played basketball growing up outside of Kelly Park. A lot of kids go there. Also played open gym with a lot of friends that I grew up with. Um, played basketball at the Boys and Girls Club. Played a lot of club basketball, so I've had fun. I also played with the Kailahi sisters from MA that they go to MA, play with Carly and Greer, Bree, we're all on the same club team. and We always went and traveled to play against really good girls and I think that has helped me improve as a player. Holy cow, that's like an all-star team right there. Yeah. Um, you know, th one of the things I, I remember talking about before was, uh, you know, your choice to come here. Yeah. It was kind of a, a little difficult decision, but 
you, you feel like you made the right choice. Yeah, I, de I feel like I did. Like academically, priorities of school for me, class size, like teacher support, even the students. Like we're a small body here. Um, we have like 400 kids, 6th through 12th grade, which is like kind of like when, pe when I tell people that, they're like, whoa, that's a lot of people. But it really is like significant for our school. Um, our basketball team is like really close, like sisters. And our coaches would be considered like our dads or our grandpas. Like we're just super close. And I think it's just great to have be in a small community and be around all these great people. Great. So that was Tatiana Reese uh, from Priory, our Girls Athlete of the Week. And congratulations. Thank you.